Now this is one of these great moments where we get to use a white um, a white crayon, and we know that we don't have a lot of a lot of pressure to make it perfect because we're drawing a, a bear in the sky and not a not a realistic bear, just trying to get capture the the basic gesture of this bear. We're also going to uh, look at a great trick for drawing a boat in 3D and uh, some water as well. So um, uh, a lot of good tricks kind of hidden in this in this drawing. Great drawing for fourth graders, but uh, also a lot that you can use in um, in lots of different drawings. I think once the students are in, uh, once they start to get to be about uh, um, 9, 10, 11 years old, they're, lo they're looking for ways to make, uh, make their drawings a little bit more three-dimensional. And so just having a few little tricks up your sleeve, like the boat trick and, uh, and the wave trick here, uh, nice ways to help them uh, get that 3D effect. Uh, in kind of a simple way, not too many steps. And we can keep this kind of simple. It's more about uh, just capturing the, uh, the feel of the scene in the drawing rather than including a whole bunch of detail. I think uh, that's really the spirit of working with, with the crayons is, um, is working mostly with the color and the form and, and hints of detail are really all that's needed. I'm excited about uh, drawing this landscape for you guys. Uh, this is a really fun one. Um, we'll be looking at uh, drawing a waterfall scene today. And uh, the cool thing about this drawing is that uh, you could explain that we're, you're drawing a waterfall landscape ahead of time, or you can actually start this drawing um, and, uh, and not tell your student what you're drawing. In fact, I've done this one both ways before. Uh, and then it's kind of a mystery and they figure it out uh, what you're drawing as you go along. It's a good question to ask. Ask your students is, uh, are your images popping? That's why it's good to start out working light. You can always come back and make things darker with the crayons, but if you start, if you start out pushing hard, then you're kind of stuck with what you have.